Welcome to the Cubs Podcast, episode number five, guys. Uh, where were we last week? Ask him. Yeah, that's right. You uh, he was Shh. late. He was out. I'm late to my own house? Tell me how that works. You're late. You, you don't show up on time. Like, I was where here. Where was I hiding? I don't know. I was here since five in the afternoon, and you didn't show up till 11. You're like, what are you doing here? Yeah, because where was uh, the, There's nowhere to hide in here. I can say you were here. <laughs> where was I? Then how did you get into the house? I, I was sitting outside! Well, good, that's where you belong. Anyway... Okay, so we're gonna get to our first topic of the day. Oh, uh, yeah, we got lovely stories to talk about today. Yes, we do. Okay. So, you, you gonna keep dropping that phone on viewers? <laughs> <laughs> the plot synopsis! We're not spot- episode <laughs> crash! <laughs> It, okay. it breaks a hole in my wall and your phone's <laughs> perfectly fine. <laughs> Not a single scratch. Otterbox, we aren't sponsored, but we still show off their products. Yes. Otterbox, if you need me. Even though you don't know me. Demonetized already, thank you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Copyright <laughs> strike. <laughs> okay, so our first story of the day. The plot synopsis for, the, for Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet, has just been released. Mm -hmm. Ralph Breaks the Internet, Wreck-It Ralph 2, leaves Litwalk's video game, a video arcade behind, venturing into the uncharted, expansive, and thrilling world of the Internet, which may or may not survive Ralph's wrecking, which sounds so cheesy and stupid the way they were. It's so, it's so stupid, whatever. Video game Bad Ralph. R <laughs> what? <laughs> rated R. Shut up. <laughs> video, video game Bad Ralph, voiced by John C. Riley and fellow misfit Vanellope Von Schwitz. Schwartz. It's, 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 it's Schwartz. Do you want me to it's pull e up? It's E-E. Okay, e all right. I'm e reading, e sir. <laughs> okay, right. voiced by Sarah Silverman, uh, must risk it all by traveling to the world of World Wide Web in search of the replacement part to save Vanellope's video game, Sugar Rush. The game's not even worth saving. It's a racing game, for God's sake. There's a thousand of them out there. Uh, in, in, oh, God, I lost my place. In way over their heads, Ralph and Vanellope rely on the citizens of the Internet the net net netizens. That's so stupid. Netizens. Net netizens. The net is sins. Like citizens, but with the net in front of it. Stupid. <laughs> to help navigate their way, include a website as entrepreneur named Yaz, the voice of Tar Taraji P Henson, who is the head of algorithm and the heart and soul of trend making website BuzzTube. Hmm. What is BuzzTube? Hmm. I wonder what that's reminiscence of. Browsers. Okay, what are your thoughts? Go, go. I, I think the, the whole synopsis, it, it doesn't make any sense. Um, it, like, the whole, like you pointed out, the bad Wreck-It Ralph, bad Ralph, like video game bad Ralph, that whole part. Yeah, video game bad Ralph and fellow misfit. Like, I might be reading it wrong, but it's still, it's still worded very it's poorly. Yeah. And um, the whole idea of a synopsis is supposed to... Vaughn Schweetz. You were wrong. <laughs> Speeds. She said speeds. You're like sports. Like I don't see an A in there. We're not getting sidetracked. We're not getting sidetracked. But um, my problem. Uh, listen, it's basically what I expected this to be. It, it's just the way they worded it. I like the synopsis. It's a sequel for kids to make a quick buck. That's what it's gonna be. It's not gonna no, be like the first one where it was. No, the, no. I, I. This is for a sequel. The story makes sense. It's just the way they worded the synopsis. I did not like it. Uh, like them going How to. How are they going to get into the internet? They, they they don't tell us in the synopsis, but we just assume they go to the internet. Yeah, how are, you, how are they going to get into the internet though? They're in arcade. Why? Well, no, well, they can. They've shown that they, you can travel through uh, plugs and shit like that. Yeah, but so I, I I'm assuming that they like travel through like. A you would have to plug. make your way into a Cat Five cable and hope that plug eventually runs into a computer or a wireless module or something. Well, eventually, I, like maybe like maybe that's why no one's ever been to the internet through an ar the arcade. So maybe that it's like a like a rare occurrence. I mean, there I can see there being a way, but like maybe it's like this long ass road trip, like going from Jersey to California. It's not like you oh you go around the corner, it's right there. So like that's good. that is an interesting point. I never really thought of that. Yeah, but because there's nothing connecting. Those well, teams. like eventually. There might be, maybe they find a way to travel through the walls and shit like that because there's like electrical cables inside the walls. But that still wouldn't get you, like you need to make it back to your service box running into that building 
and it somehow needs to be this tied into one of those plugs. This is literally a kid's movie, and we're analyzing this like it's fucking real life. Alright, Wreck It Route 2, brought to you in part by the FCC. <laughs> Free the internet. <laughs> uh, Wait, they bought Ralph. That's why he's breaking the internet. <laughs> Illuminati confirmed. Harvard uh, offers me a scholarship <laughs> next day. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like like I said, it's like it's nothing special. And it, it the thing is, it's Cars Three. No, I won't say it's Cars Three. I'm it's getting cars a, two. I, I, I'm, no, no, no. Well, it's I, I'm it's for kids. Shut up! I'm trying to explain something. <laughs> the thing is, I'm getting I'm getting a little nervous though because the way this is worded, it sounds very emoji movie. Like we'll save the emoji movie for later. Bring up a different movie. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. But like for right now, for yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, because like they got like he like they introducing Buzz too. But at least they're not actually making it YouTube. So at least they're having some dignity in like not trying to like show these marketing employees in there and shit like that. But I mean, I'm still excited for the movie. Um, I really think it's going to be great. Just the way this synopsis is worded out is not the greatest. They they could have really simplified this. I can literally cut this in half and it would say the same thing. It feels very careless how they worded it. Yeah, very careless. Like like I said again, video game bad Ralph. Like like what? First off, you can just say Ralph and fellow misfit Vanellope. Why do you need video game bad? Okay. Well, the whole point of the first movie is him not wanting to be the bad guy and wanting to be the hero. So doesn't that make the whole movie like a bit redundant? Yeah, it, it's like it, that. Those three words, video game bad, kind of contradicts everything he's doing. Because how is he bad again if he is helping Vanellope save? Her game again. That makes him a good guy. How's the web going to save her game? It's an arcade game. Well, I'm thinking like there's maybe like a, a piece of coding that would like because the game is still kind of broken. Broken. At the end I thought the, the well, I thought the whole thing in the end broke like fixed the glitch. Like the no, whole... no, she's still a glitch, but people liked her. No, so it made her the princess in the game. Yeah, but she still she still get glitches through and shit like that. Oh. So maybe like she's uh, dying. Maybe she's gonna die. Like a, yeah, maybe, or maybe uh, one of the uh, people that runs the arcade sees it and says that's not normal, so they, yeah. they, they're like, okay, we're going to try to uh, shut you down, and then it's, it's going to be the same thing where, like I said, Ralph's thing being taken down, it's hers, and there's like only one piece of code in that can fix it, so maybe that's what it is. Cause they're going to bring in an antivirus software, and it's going to be trying to kill Penelope the entire time. <laughs> it's the Trojan horse. Yeah, it's gonna be the new the new bugs in the movie. She's just going after her the entire Imagine time. Imagine there's like a thousand Trojan horses just running at her. That'd be pretty scary. Just like like you Trojan know, horses. Because like a tro no, that's the Trojan virus. Yeah, the Trojan virus. Oh, so yeah. Trojan horse is just a big wooden horse statue. Yeah, yeah but I was thinking like because you know, Odysseus isn't gonna pop out of this one, buddy. Because every time I, when I heard first heard Trojan virus, I was like, "Wait, yeah, a horse." I'm like, "What?" Yeah, the whole thing it looks safe going through, and then it embeds yeah. itself. I and mean, that'd be kind of clever. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe like that's how the virus got in there. Like, yeah, hey, look, a horse. We're gonna learn how to technically make a virus in my one class assembly language because that's where they make it, and they break down code in the, ah. to the simplest form. No, that, <laughs> I'm sure I'm not gonna be able to learn how to like input it, but. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, learn, we'll certainly learn how they work and how to make them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're done with this subject. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we talked about it that. Okay, so our next subject is involving Venom. Tom Hardy posted a Venom and Carnage fan art to his Instagram a few days ago, which sparked up the hope that we'll see Carnage in the film. But then later, he has deleted the post from his Instagram, most likely due to the film remaining under wraps and keeping everything secret except for a few set photos and a still. It's uh, not there anymore. Yeah, they, they, they deleted it. Oh, I was like so focused on getting to his Instagram account that I must have missed you saying that. You fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to see the fan art. Did that at least look cool? I don't know. It's been deleted. I could try and find it. Okay, you do that. But um, are you sure you want to go first? Because if I go, I might not stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. Okay, but um, being... Yeah, there's. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna say this, but like, there's just, like, Venom is really being a little overly strict right now. They're setting themselves up. I would almost say they're setting themselves up for failure, but 
the way they are locking down this movie with its, with its secrets and stuff like that, they better have a Christopher Nolan-worthy-like movie. They, they have to have a masterpiece, because if this movie is below subpar, fans are going to be pissed, because you kept, up, kept us waiting for so long, and you're making everything so strict, like, we don't know the plot, we don't know who the main villain is, but when we, we're pretty sure it is Carnage, but I feel like you're setting yourself up for failure, like, who cares if you find out the villain is Carnage? It's, it's the villain. It's not, like, telling you this entire story. And we already know that he's an anti-hero in this. Uh, uh, what? Yeah, yeah, continue, continue. Yeah, but, like, we already know he's an anti-hero in this, so introducing an, a, a villain, it's, it's no big secret. Because being an anti-hero, what, what is he going to do? Just swing around? Because an anti-hero has to be a villain that has to do something for the wrong reasons or something along those lines. So... Having a villain is not a big surprise, and it's just, it, I feel like they're just guarding this a little too much. It's like having a, a game like Call of Duty, but you want to hide the ray gun in uh, zombies because whoosh, there's never been a ray gun in there. Like, we got to keep it under wraps, but you like, we know it's there because it's been in every single zombie game. That's incorrect. Except for this one, no. in World War Two. No, it's, it's only in Treyarch zombies. The, that's why it's only the ray gun, juggernaug, quick revive, is only in Treyarch zombies. But you, but you do that's get what I was copying. Yeah, yeah. Well, but I you, mean, you know it's there. It's implied that's going to be there. But yeah, like, like, <clears throat> like just keeping it a secret is so pointless. There's no casting for Carnage though. I just saw, and they're thinking that Michelle Williams is going to be the She Venom, and they're going to save the five symbiotes for later movies and develop them, and the Carnage will show up in a future Venom movie. She Venom? Yeah, She Venom. That's what Scream Rant said. And I don't discount uh, Scream Rant because that's where I normally go, but I normally go to uh, Collider and shit like that. They're saying that's more likely since they haven't had a full like release if there's going to be a Carnage casting. Well, that might be true and that might be wrong. I, I don't want to discount a She Venom, but that's... That's, that's not a good stupid. ploy, first that's of all. stupid. No, I, w I would rather see Carnage. Because I'm so fucking tired of seeing, like, I mean, yes, Venom and Carnage are the same thing, just, but they're different enough. But, like, she, Venom versus Venom, that's so boring. It's so boring. Why would I want to see that? No one wants to see a black symbiote versus another black symbiote, but one's a woman. Ooh, like. No, that, that probably won't happen because it's a man hitting a woman. Yeah, so it's going to be, you know, she's going to kick his ass, no problem. And then Tom Hardy's going to look like a bitch from, for the rest of his film career. It's I wasn't going for that. I was just saying it's probably not going to happen because, like, yeah. <laughs> half of the people are going to love it, half of the people are going to be up in pitch And, and, and the thing is, Tom Hardy is very <clears throat> uh, infamous for, like, being very picky with his roles. That's why he's only in, you know, like, Christopher Nolan movies. He always wears the mask, too. You never Ooh. see his face. Ooh. <laughs> You're not that of Dunkirk. The only time you see his face was when he's being captured in the end. And uh, he's like, I gotta be captured. The, the, the audience sees my face. <laughs> yeah. Get me, get me, get me. <laughs> they see too much. <laughs> they see too much. They see the like a little. Take me to the salt mines. <laughs> take me to the salt mines. I don't want to yeah. be. Take me off the camera, please. Oh, wait, that's a Soviet. Politically incorrect again. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. But yeah, it, it's stupid. It, it yeah. better be carnage. Because everyone's been wanting to see Carnage since Spider-Man 4 was rumored. Because, like, I was like, oh my god, when I was younger, I was like, hey, we might be getting Carnage. And I heard it was supposed to be Vulture. I was like, eh, stupid. Then the reboot happened. I liked the first one. It was just like, I want to see Carnage. Okay, the first one was like, okay, okay, it's cool. The second one is like, what, what is going on? What? <laughs> like, Electro was always one of my favorite Spider-Man villains. I was like, I wanted to see Yeah, I, I was like, this is cool. We finally get him. And then it's like, <laughs> mental torture, self-destruct. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? That's not Electro! <laughs> and then uh, we get uh, the Rhino. And the Knock Goblin. And the Knock Goblin. The Rhino was so annoyed. Dice! Anyway, moving on. Okay. <laughs> okay, here comes our next topic. There is a chance, and I'm going to emphasize there's a huge chance. Marvel may use the multiverse theory to introduce Doctor, uh, introduce in Doctor Strange to bring the X Men and a bunch of other what if films, uh, such as like what if Spider Man was in the uh, Fantastic Four, 
and it's just stuff along those lines, like, so it's not in continuity, so stuff like Logan and the X-Men films, and I want to say Deadpool, well, he's not really strictly connected to the X-Men films. They need to do a Deadpool and Spider-Man movie. They have to. I, I will bring that up in every podcast until it happens. 35 podcasts later, still no Spider-Man <laughs> Deadpool news. We still have not heard back from Disney yet. Uh, uh, where are you? We're moving to more drastic measures. Next week we have the Disney CEO like tied up in the back. So, uh, <laughs> so any then, thoughts? <laughs> tweets Ryan Reynolds and Ryan Reynolds replies for anyway. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Like, yay! Uh, budget? Question mark? <laughs> Reply unlimited. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> give them whatever they need. It'll be a $2 billion idea right yeah. off the bat. You know, give, give them all the money. All right? you, 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 Hand them ABC to do it. If they you, know, want. you know that $60 billion you just gave to Fox? Just take it back. Rob them. Just yeah. get that money back. Declare <laughs> bankruptcy, even though we all know you have the money, but do it anyway. Just do it anyway. Do it anyway. <laughs> they, they're like, but we have a state like, with like $100 billion. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no that, that, they show us they're safe, it's full of gold bricks. We have all this! Oh, I will take care of that. <laughs> you close the door, open it back up, it's all gone. Where'd it go? <laughs> Point Declare bankruptcy, and uh, you, you'll get it back. You'll, <laughs> you'll get, get it back. back. But, like, I'm upset about this, because I kind of like the way things are being kind of run in the MCU. Like, everything is connected. There's not, like, a bunch of spin-off random shit going on. But yes, there's there's uh, flaws into that system, but I don't want to have a, like a bunch of what if shit like that. Like no. I, I want to, there to feel like there's consequences because with the X Men movies, I did not feel threatened once with them. I'm like, oh no, Cyclops dead. Hmm. Yeah. Just travel back in time. Yeah, or the things in the future's past was to the, eliminate the, the, all the mistakes that they made. Yeah, like I understand why they did that, but. There's, like, not one time I felt threatened for any of the characters. I'm like, we might see them ten, ten years from now in a, their own solo movie because they just do whatever the fuck they want. And and I don't want Marvel to start doing that. And, uh, the side subject, I really have to bring this up. Black Widow. Why, because we saw Scott stream and he's like, Black Widow movie? That really triggered you when he said that. You're like, no! <laughs> yeah, no, it was, uh, it was um, Devin... He said, I said, oh, Black Widow needs to die. He's like, you're an idiot. Like, Black Widow's getting her own movie. That's what triggered me. I'm like, she doesn't need a movie. Oh, on a side note, Scott, I don't know you. Gum told me to say all that. It's on, it's on He's probably not even listening to this. He's going to watch it. You're going to make him watch it. I will no, message not. him myself and make him watch it. Good luck. Like, I've, I've known him for at least two years. I've only been starting to talk to him recently. He'll watch it. Okay, okay. It's, it's like DC movies, you gotta watch them, but... You wanna, you, you wanna sh tell the class? No, there's just no ending to it, it's, it's just... Uh, okay, so it's just like, whatever. Uh, what are your thoughts on, like, if they use the what-if theory in the multiverse shit? No, it won't have any influence on the main Marvel movies, and I feel like they need to have the X-Men come in. Like, I just naturally... Just natural. Like, stop saying the enhanced now, like with Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Okay, they're mutants now. Yeah, you can now call them mutants, but I feel like it would be a little out of left field. Of, like, they call them enhanced. I think they're, well, I still think they're going to call them enhanced. I don't think, I think they're going to, now they, they own the, uh, the term mutant. I think, um. But wouldn't that imply they're coming in? No, I don't think she, they're going to call uh, Scarlet Witch uh, mutant. I think they're going to keep calling her enhanced for continuity. But, like, all the other X-Men and shit like that, they're going to call them mutants. Because she was not she was not born like that. She was experimented on in Avengers Age of Ultron. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's right. Because isn't she, technically, correct me if I'm wrong, but she's Magneto's daughter? Yeah, she... Um, yeah, her, because Quicksilver's her brother. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, but, so they changed things up because of the, the whole yeah. Fox thing at the time. So She's adopted. Okay, we'll go with that. Yeah, um, but that that solves everything. You just adopt. But yeah, I just long story short, yeah. this is stupid. Don't do the, no. the what if theory. It was okay with X Men and what they did with Logan. We got Logan, which was a masterpiece. But just don't do it. Just Make another do it. one. I want another Logan. That was so amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. 
like imagine like like imagine out of left field we get something like Logan but with Deadpool. That would be like the most mind mind blo like mind blowing thing ever. Like he's automatically super serious. Girl starts back sassing and pulls out a sword. <laughs> yeah. Like he's like he's just had it with like he's yeah. like trying to find a way to die. He's like I can't. Every scene he shoots himself and trying to like die, <laughs> but he keeps regening. It, it's like a very dark comedy. Like yeah. Oh my god, make this. We're we're giving you an idea right here. Make it a super dark comedy where he like is there was a time in the comics where um, he wants to die so he can be with death, but yeah. Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet uh, cursed him so he can't die. So like because the uh, whole love, the whole yeah. love triangle, yeah, because because death always loved Deadpool over Thanos. Isn't death technically in the universe now from Ragnarok? Uh, well, she the theory is that she uh, is like death. She's the quote quote. Did she say she is death? She's the goddess of death. She's like death. She's not officially death. But I'm saying she might take a replacement for death. And she's still alive? Like, I didn't see Ragnarok. Yet. Uh, she, um, she, they show her quote, quote, dying, but she's not dead. Oh, uh, so it's like Loki in the first one, him falling into space. Yeah, yeah, it was literally like her falling. And I'm like, is she not dead? What, she fall off the Rainbow Bridge again? I think so. <laughs> when you fall off Rainbow Road in the final lap and you're in first place? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so... Oh, we mentioned Nintendo. Is this going to get copyrighted now? Oh, shit. <laughs> I have to bleep it out. Yeah. Bleep it out. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go to our final topic of the day. Take it away, Pickle. Okay, so Saudi Arabia lifted their 35-year film ban earlier in December, and so they recently showed their uh, first movie, and it's none other than the Emoji Movie. 35 years, they wait to lift this ban. It was banned in the 80s. I don't know why. It, it, it was something with the war, I believe. And um, they the, the first movie they're watching in 35 years. So get mind you, that means they have no pop culture references. Like, the, only, the last thing they probably saw was Star Wars Episode Four, And then that was it. And then gone into darkness. No, and they would have seen the full trilogy, but that, that's besides the point. That's Well, like, I'm talking about... Early, early 80s. Oh, early, early? Okay, yeah, never yeah. mind. All right, okay, so, now. um... So, after episode four, they just go completely dark, and then the next thing they watch is the Emoji movie. They're like, did everyone just lose their freaking mind? Well, I think they have social media, so, I mean, they might get some references, because it is emo- they, like, Yeah, they do they have are emojis. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like... You're not, like, as in tune with it. I mean, you, you, they do have, uh, I'm pretty sure they had uh, social media and all that shit, but um, yeah. it's not like, they're not like us over here. Like, they, they, they're not glued to They're them. normal. They're, they're normal, but they're yeah. not Americans. Yeah. They're, they, they, they look outside. They, they go outside. They have a nice tan. Um, where us Americans, we hide inside. We're, we're pasty white right here. We're, like, yeah. the whitest cast in this entire, <laughs> like, entire YouTube We almost series. blend in with the walls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have to light this room just right so we can <laughs> see us. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, I put a layer of olive oil so the light reflects off of us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have to wear like ski masks to yeah. shit like that. <laughs> oh my god, where's Gump? Where's Bagel? <laughs> we're here. Uh, yeah. No, guys, trust me, we're here. We're fine. Put some masks on. Oh, we see him. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, we had we had to like write in like red marker gump and then pickle. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it just like I can't imagine like that is so the you horror know, they've gone through with this movie. <laughs> the, they probably just put another band right back on. <laughs> I was like I was telling him before the show. I was telling him the notes. I was like, okay, so thirty five years of a band. They watch the emoji movie. They're like, okay, another thirty five years. Then we'll see what happens. <laughs> Something worse happens. The They'll do a movie. reboot of the Emoji movie in another 35 years. <laughs> They're like, what the hell? We just escaped this and you're doing it again? Okay, that's 100 years. And then 100 years later, yeah. it's like, well, Emoji Movie 7. They're like, okay, we're just, no more movies. <laughs> yeah. Then, you know what? We're done. No. No, we're done. We're, 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 we're taking away your TVs, too. <laughs> they, they have this outlaw for electronics now for all TVs and internet and shit like that. Breaking everything. Wait, do they still have all VHS then? If it's a movie band, do they have DVDs and all that? I or is it like strictly no movies at all? I, that, let me look that up. Um, That's a good question. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just like no movies. Or some, oh, just no movies at all. So I, 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 I'm, I think it was actually no movie so theaters. Oh, okay. So they probably had uh, VHSs and shit like that. They probably still had some br illegally brought in too. Like, yeah, yeah, like you know, like drugs and shit like that. So it's like, do you have a DVD? Do you have, a, do you have Aladdin? <laughs> do you have a Deadpool? Yeah, you, you, you got the pulls. <laughs> you got the pulls, buddy. Come on, man, go through withdrawal. <laughs> I need this back in two days. No! <laughs> Mom! <laughs> My precious. Precious. This one yeah. starts stroking Deadpool's box. Yes. Starts licking the underside so he <laughs> takes the, the credits. <laughs> ah, the credits. Yeah. The credits. I've been waiting so much. Oh my god. Oh, let's see. Wow, your screen's really dark. How do you it, see with the brightness? Well, it's so the glasses and the thing. Oh, so, so you know, I, I don't look like an anime character with the, the glasses just completely. So they can see you. Yeah. I I totally butchered this. Yeah, it's like I, Saudi I Arabia. <laughs> Arabia. Okay. Do you mean what kind of? Do you, you know, they're, uh, and yeah, I'm happy to get into it. I'll talk to you after the show on that one. What? Let's see. Did they say they're not going to be so there? I'll explain it later. Uh, let's see. It looks like, based off what I'm reading, it's just like, it's just movie theaters and stuff. Oh, like okay. That, as far as what I'm reading. So, um. There's a way they can still bring in movies then. Yeah, there is a way. Um. So it's probably like eventually, well, that means if it's just theaters, why not just sell the new DVDs and Blu-rays, like. Well, um, you're right, but we're going to have to do more research on this and we'll bring it back to you guys later. Yep. Okay, so, um, do you want to talk about the Star Wars thing? So, uh, or you just... It's not really, it's not noteworthy, it's just rumored the trailer's coming out on Monday. So, expect a review if it's out on Monday. I might pop by because, you know, I'm in Star Wars. Yeah. I got so much shit to film, oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Like I got two film, re uh, two trailer reviews to do. One of them is really stupid. One of them is like, eh, oh, okay, it was, it was cool. But you know, I'm gonna try to only review bad trailers. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Movie. All right. So we'll definitely review Solo. Well, probably. most likely, most likely, yeah. like, it's based off what we've been hearing. Okay. People are like, stop bashing uh, Solo. You haven't seen it. I'm like, but listen, based Did, off what we're hearing. Have people really said that? Yeah. They're like, stop bashing Solo. You haven't seen the film yet. And I'm like, you know, not to us. Not to us, but oh, like okay. pe people um, in topics and shit like that, they're like, stop bashing him, but like, but... It's called an opinion. No yeah. one really wanted the Solo movie. No one wanted the Solo movie. Th the actor is getting an acting coach who has to stick by him throughout the entire recording. We already lost directors. We, we lost some of the greatest comedic directors of all time, and... Extensive reshoots, don't forget the reshoots. Don't, yeah, extensive reshoots, extensive rewrites early on. So tell me... Where is the light of hope you see in this movie? No one wanted this damn thing. Nope. No one wanted it. Uh, can well, I mean, the, 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 the counterpoint is no one wanted Rogue One, but that okay. actually turned out to be pretty decent. It was, it was the most expensive uh, way to fix a plot hole. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not really a... No, 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 with, you know, the whole... Jump? Well, no, with the whole, like, whole event in the Death Star. Like, why was, why is there, like... There was an EU thing, but then Disney came in and they're like, Oh, it's Legends now, alright, you can read about it if you want, but we don't care what you think, it's not in the storyline. That's what they did, yeah. With every Legends book, like, we don't get Centerpoint Station anymore. You don't know what that is. Every time you speak about Legends, I either doze off or I'm like, Oh, that's interesting. This one I'm just it's essentially there. a giant gravity weapon that the Corellians, it's the planet where Han, Han Solo is from. Okay. <laughs> it allowed them to bring other planets from different solar systems in and make them habitable for themselves so they could go mine resources. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so in the Yuzhong Vong War, it was used as a weapon to destroy them, which I'll explain who they are to you once we're done. Don't, talking down to me? Like, I'll explain it to you later, sir. It's a lot of explaining. <laughs> like, I'll probably do it as a... <laughs> it's honestly very... Inter oh, wait, HQ's almost live. We gotta, we gotta wrap up. It's a... HQ? It's the Makers of Vine. It's a trivia uh, like game show. It's live. It's 12 questions, and it's like a prize pool of $2,000 each time. Oh, $2,000? Okay. Uh, that's it for the show, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm a Twitter, Instagram, Gumtown, yeah. Score Videos. You can follow me there for latest news updates on my channel. We're streaming tonight, too. Yeah. Twitch.tv. By, by the time this is up... Or no, it's gonna be on YouTube. It's it's already on YouTube. Go follow there. Help yeah. tweet it. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Okay. Bye. Right. Done. Bye.